Part two. Okay. So, figure out what it is that you like and why. Like right now, Avatar is making a huge stir in the world right now. Okay. And on the surface, it's, I mean, it's just a pretty cool movie just to watch and great special effects and things. But it's deeper than that. Avatar speaks to the, the interconnectedness of all things. The fact that all of life really is like a web. And I'll, I'll let you in on a secret here, by the way. I've had a whole lot of people telling me, like, oh, I wish I could live on Pandora. I wish the real world was like that. Um, the real world is like that. <laughs> I mean, God is everywhere, all the time, interspersing everything and behind everything. You just have to see it. And by the same token, God doesn't really take sides. I mean, people get eaten every day. <laughs> That's just the, the flow of life. You have to learn how to connect in with that flow. And I notice the people that I know that don't really like Avatar the most are extremely, extremely religious people that can't really step outside of their own paradigm and completely materialistic people that cannot conceive that yes, there might really be a greater connectedness of things. There might really be facts that underlie things or truth beyond things. So, if you're in either one of those camps and you want me to explain it to you in a way that you understand, like I said, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, my website, find me, I will explain it to you either as a religious person or as a non-religious person. Just let me know, okay? So, what I'm getting at then is you need to find your own inner hero. You need to find your own inner champion. I tell you all the time that you're a champion, and you are a champion. You're the absolute best you that's ever been. You're the absolute best you that has ever well, I was about to say you're the absolute best you that ever will be, but that's not true. You're getting better every day. But you're definitely the best you so far. And there's a quote I love. It's by Jigoro Kano. He's the founder of Judo. You don't have to be better than your opponent. You just have to be better than yesterday. You just have to keep moving. It's like in Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. That's all you have to do. If you feel like you need to lose 25 pounds and you lose an ounce, rejoice for that. Because you're moving in the right direction. You're losing weight. It's way too easy to get hung up on the fact that it should be more. It should be like this. I should be making more money. He should love me more. I should be losing more weight. But none of that matters. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is what is. What's so. What is right here in front of you. What is actually happening. And what can you do to make the future and what's coming work out the way that you want it to work out, okay? And, and I'm throwing all my quotes out here. If you follow me on Facebook or MySpace or any of those places, you know I use a lot of quotes. The reason why I do a lot of quotes is two reasons. Uh, one, I can use somebody else's words to seem clever. <laughs> <laughs> and two, there's lots of different ways of looking at things. And most significant thoughts, most somebody's already had by now. But Confucius said, and this isn't a joke, by the way, it doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. Okay? You watching this video is doing something. Okay? And here's another thing, by the way. I meant to mention this last time. I talk to a lot of people that are, are hung up with decisions or they they don't really know what to do they can't really choose between should I go this way or that way should I should I take this action or this action and so they don't do anything here's what you gotta realize choosing to do nothing is a choice it's choosing your current life right now that's what you're choosing it's impossible to do nothing you can only do what you're already doing. So when you watch these videos of mine and you get all excited and you're like, wow, maybe I am worth it. Maybe I am fantastic. Maybe I can take over the world, but I'll do it later. All you're choosing is your current life right now. You're choosing the same income, the same house, the same spouse, same relationship, same everything. And that's what you're choosing. And if you're really, truly happy with those things, great. No problem. Because I've said again and again, it's true, you've got to appreciate what's happening now before you can have more. But don't think that inaction is gaining you anything. Inaction is keeping you where you are. Does that make sense? So if you want more, you have to do more. If you want change, you have to act differently. You have to stand up and actually do things, okay? Now, a lot of my brothers and sisters that are into the law of attraction, 
ask me all the time. It's like, well, are you supposed to just keep it in your mind and keep it in your mind and wait for the universe to miracle it to you? Or are you supposed to be out trying to dig ditches? And the answer is both. <laughs> it's like a quote I've used several times from the Amish. When you pray, move your feet. What you want, I, I spoke to somebody about this just the other day, in fact. She wants to go to college. And so she decided on a specific job that would allow her to go to university for my international friends, right? And she asked me what I thought of the goal. And I said, there's no real point in fixating yourself on this individual job. Because the goal is not the job. The goal is to go to university, right? Like if she were to walk outside tomorrow and find a bag full of money and she could go to university, she would no longer need the job. Right? So you have to focus on the end result. Focus on what it is that you actually want. But in the meantime, be in action. Do what you got to do. Submit those scholarship requests. Maybe still apply for the job. I'm not saying don't apply for the job. I'm saying don't put a lot of external energy and focus into the acquisition of the job. Does that make sense? Focus on the end result. Focus on how you will feel. What it's going to get you how you will experience it when it's actually happening. Just like I said, when you think about when you were happy, what was it about that that made you feel good? That's what you want to focus on. Focus on that sense of contribution, right? Now, I do these videos because I like reaching the maximum number of people, okay? So for those of you who have reposted these videos or sent them to friends, I really appreciate that, genuinely and truly from my heart, okay? But my end result is still helping more and more and more and more people. So am I reaching millions of people yet? No. Am I reaching thousands of people? Yes. And am I reaching more people today than I reached yesterday? Yes. And that's all that matters, okay? Now, I made a mistake once before doing these videos where I made half of it too long and I couldn't post it on YouTube. So believe it or not, I think I'm going to cut this one uh, short here rather than make that same mistake again. But I want you to know something, like always. You really have it within you to do anything. I know I say it again and again because I want you to believe it. There's plenty of people out there that will try and take this from you and will try and hold you back and will try and hold you down and you've been conditioned your whole life to get in line, to do what you're told, to live up to other people's explanations and, and expectations. Apparently, uh, you know, some, some cultures are obviously much harder about this than others. So I apologize. I don't mean to be too American when I, when I say things like it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. But it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. I mean, in the end, you have to look in the mirror and see and like who you see there. Okay? You have to be happy with you. It does not matter if everybody else in India loves you and thinks your life is great and thinks you made all the right moves if you're miserable, okay? This above all else, to thine own self be true. And if no matter what, no matter what else, you're already going to have one friend, that's me. I'm going to back you up no matter what you choose, okay? I just want you to get after it. I just want you to see the you that I see, and then you can take over the world, okay? I told you before, the world needs you. The world needs you to shine. Not only are you not helping right now by holding back, you are hurting. This country, if you're an American, needs help, and your country probably needs help if you're not an American. This whole world needs help. We're at a crossroads. There's a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of apprehension about what's about to come in the world, be it 2012 or World War III or running out of oil or whatever, and it's going to take people like us, like you and me, who can focus on the positive, who can stay constructive, who can stay optimistic and really work for something and really make something happen in this world. So let's do that, okay? I love you. You're fantastic. Okay, bye-bye.